Federal offices of the Clay County Courthouse reopened today after a ransomware attack nearly two weeks ago. Our Garrett Drake went to the courthouse earlier today, joins us now from the newsroom with the latest on that. Garrett. Yes, yeah, several officials have regained access to their computers, but now they're playing catch up and returning calls and entering information from the missed days. Daily operations are returning back to normal at the Clay County Courthouse after a ransomware attack on July 9th. Clay County Treasurer Jennifer Flater says that her staff still came into the offices despite the closure, and collaboration between offices was an important factor. It takes twofold for all those processes, and so we had to coordinate with each other to be able to come in and make sure everything was covered that needed to be taken care of so that the county still ran efficiently as, as best we could with the circumstances. Many officials were at the courthouse on July 19th to see what their computers could do. There was also more to learn about what happened in the days after the attack. I come in the next day and they say, hey, you know, you can't use your computers or nothing like that and we don't want you to. So I sat here and just, you know, kind of, I had two people coming in, so I worked with them doing some paperwork stuff like that. And then uh, we had a meeting, they told us what was going on. They made the decision to close the courthouse and we're slowly but surely getting back. The opening comes after the county commissioners worked with cybersecurity experts and federal authorities to combat the ransomware attack. It is currently unclear if they paid the ransom. The commissioners have been overseeing everything, trying to talk with each elected official or department head to see how they wanted to go with things. And they've kind of left it up to the office to be able to determine who can open and when, because it depended on how much of your data that you were able to restore and you know what you could work with and what you can't. Along with the courthouse, computers from 10 other county offices began working again today, including the treasurer, the highway department, and the sheriff's office. However, seven offices remain closed until further notice. For a full list of what's open and what's closed, you can visit our website at mywabashvalley.com. Back to you in the studio. All right, thanks for that update, Garrett.